On behalf of Virginia's family, uh, we wish to thank all who have gathered here this morning. We have been listening to many of Virginia's uh, favorite uh, songs uh, as we celebrate uh, her life and ask God's mercy and grace to be upon her. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be always with you. In the waters of baptism, Virginia died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. My brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ who by dying on the cross has freed us from unending death, and by rising has opened for us the gates of paradise. Let us pray for our beloved sister Virginia, that she may share in Christ's victory. And let us pray also for ourselves, that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Virginia, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to this reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But they, but the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. Well, they went off to buy it. The bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A week ago, this uh, past Monday, two weeks ago today, I received a, a call from Serenity Hospice House that uh, uh, Virginia wished to speak with a priest. And so graciously, I, I had a wonderful conversation with uh, your beloved Virginia. We spoke about faith. We spoke about life. We spoke a little bit about her getting ready uh, for that ultimate journey from life into eternal life. During the course of our conversation, Assuming maybe she might be Catholic, I asked her. She said, no, I, but I always w wanted to become Catholic. I, I've always had a desire uh, to be baptized. Having uh, uh, had a conversation and knowing her desire, I, I asked her, would you like then to come into full communion with the Catholic Church? She said, I would very much uh, like that. And so uh, uh, this past, a week ago, this past Sunday, had the opportunity uh, to, uh, to offer her the sacraments of baptism, of confirmation, and of Holy Communion. 
In this way, our beloved Virginia was ready to meet the Lord. She had her lamp full of oil. She knew in, in her heart, in her mind, that her time was coming close. And she wanted her soul to be in that right disposition, that right place to meet the Lord Jesus. But he would come and knock. Perhaps we come here today with great sadness and emptiness and pain at the loss of Virginia, a beloved a mother, a beloved grandmother, a beloved sister and friend. Perhaps uh, uh, many, many people were touched uh, by her life, especially as a nurse. And yet throughout her life, even though she may not have been a, a, a person of vocal faith, she nonetheless followed Jesus in her own quiet and, uh, and unique way. Jesus was waiting for her as she drew near to the end of her life's journey, welcoming her into that mansion where there are many, many places made ready for those who have followed Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Let us pray today that as we say farewell to our beloved Virginia, we may learn from her faith and her trust in God. Let us pray that as she accepted Christ, that she received the grace of baptism, becoming an adopted daughter of God, her, her Heavenly Father. We may embrace our opportunity to draw near to the Lord, who is always eager to welcome us, even near the end of our journey, as he did our beloved Virginia. Let us in faith call upon God, the Almighty Father, who raised Christ his Son from the dead, as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. Please respond to the following petitions. Lord, hear our prayer. For Virginia, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, and for the family and friends of our sister Virginia, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in the joy of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the prayer of those who cry to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord, and the soul of your servant, Virginia. Free them, we pray, from all their sin and make them sharers in your redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, with trust in God, who is full of mercy and compassion, let us pray in the words that Christ first taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Now let us listen to a special song entitled, You'll Be In My Heart. Take my hand, hold it 
This time, I would like to invite uh, Carol to share a, a few words of uh, of a tribute uh, to, uh, to to Virginia's life, and uh, would invite you to come forward and uh, to speak from the podium uh, if you would so wish. It's kind of tough after that song. <laughs> you can do it. Um, I have notes because I have a tendency to ramble on, on and get totally off the subject. Um, I first met Veronica at Pad Club. And she was on maternity leave with her twins, so I've had her for a good friend, a close friend, for 31 years. She's a wonderful mom, grandma. She loved her mother so much. Her mom was, they were so close. Um, 
she loved to, Veronica loved to share stories about her mom when they, uh, when they were growing up, about how she cooked eggs different ways. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, Ron, and Virginia was fun and kind and worked hard. So it's easy to see where Veronica got all her wonderful traits from. Um, I had a couple hours by myself with Virginia at the Serenity House, and we had such a good time. We laughed. We even had some belly laughs going. We were laughing about things. And just talking about all the music we liked and the concerts that we'd been to. Um, she, we especially loved Harry Chapin. And she, we both agreed that when we had passed away, we would hear the song Funeral because we love, not Funeral, I'm sorry, Circle, because we love it. And um, I also had the honor of being at her ceremony for her um, going into the Catholic faith. And there was such a sense of peace around the room. You could just feel, it was a wonderful feeling. And she looked peaceful and gorgeous. She looked beautiful and gorgeous that day. And everybody that knows her or ever came in contact with her, you're, we're all going to miss her and love her. And I just want her to say hi to Harry when she gets to heaven. <laughs> If there's anyone else who would like to share a brief memory, uh, you may either do so from your place or you may come forward uh, at this time. Great to be this great cat tonight. Oh, yes. Yes. So we I said to everyone, wouldn't she love to be here now? And she has a vote. To see all the time, everybody's a vote person. It makes me feel fun. So, so thank you. And now let us listen to uh, one of her favorite uh, a songs, Circle by Harry Chapin.
comes around. Just think of me as Mitch Miller and you'll do fine. Are you ready? All my life to serve, I'm coming at you. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister Virginia. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. For one day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten to meet her angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Let us pray. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Virginia in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Virginia in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister Virginia forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Virginia, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. And may the peace and goodness of God keep us always in his loving care. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in the peace of Christ.